for the Royal College of Art, RCA's Graduate Diploma of Art and Design. And it is interesting reflecting on my experience because I pretty much was in London and I called RCA um, and asked, oh, are you still accepting positions um, for the program? Um, and my mom had sent me the link to the program. And I was like, wow, RCA is like the number one art university in the world. Like there's no way I'm gonna get accepted. Uh, but my mom encouraged me to apply. And so I had a phone call with someone at the RCA and then she recommended that I talk to the course director. And then I didn't end up talking to him until the next day. Um, so I talked to Gary and then he asked me, oh, do you want to come to RCA and um, we can talk and you can show me your portfolio. And I was like, okay. So that night I just quickly just tried to submit what I could. And I really didn't spend a lot of time on the descriptions or anything. Um, but I really didn't have much in my portfolio apart from works that I had done in high school. So most of what I showed him was from high school. There is a few pieces that I did um, after I finished university, but I never took any art classes as an undergraduate. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna start showing my pieces. So this piece is a pencil, it's a graphite pencil drawing of Jessica Alba that I did in high school. It's pretty small, it's about like this big. Um, it was actually, I drew this during my freshman year of high school. So I think this was either 2011 or 2012. This piece was part of my AP art portfolio during my senior year of high school. Um, I believe it's 11 by 14 acrylic painting. It's called Baby Steps. And this one is, I think, a slightly smaller. I want to say 11 by, I don't remember the dimensions, um, but this one is an acrylic painting also from my AP art portfolio in high school, acrylic. This one's larger than the last one. Um, also acrylic painting from AP art. This one is a charcoal piece. Looking at this now makes me want to like work more on, on charcoal. I usually don't do it because I don't like how messy it is. But this was a fun project. We used brown paper. Also another acrylic painting from high school. Okay, now I'm going to start getting to the more recent pictures. Even this one actually now isn't really that recent, but it was an ink drawing in 2018. With my friend's dog, Eddie. And then this was like a really small illustration that I did in my sketchbook. Um, I also did like a video of it, of a tiger, acrylic from 2019. And this was a watercolor piece that's also from 2019. And then finally, another watercolor piece um, in London. So yeah, these are the pieces that I, I showed. Um, I think my portfolio has grown a lot since then, but it's kind of interesting thinking about my experience and I'm, I'm really grateful that I was accepted um, because I did not have the training that I know a lot of my classmates did going in. Um, so it was really neat being able to have that experience with RCA. Happy to answer more questions about portfolios um, and thanks for watching.